love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends my name is Prasun Krishna Sharma people call me Pras uh, it gives me great pleasure in order to meet you all and uh, <clears throat> you know help understand what is cloud computing in a very simple language in a very simple manner my style of teaching is for non IT people non technical people so whether you have an IT background or a non IT background whether you're technical or non technical does not matter I will try my level best to coach you all and possibly get certified uh, so kindly you know follow my YouTube videos and you know we will definitely get in there if you're not getting it don't worry it is not your mistake it is my bad coaching and towards the end of the slides I have actually given ways to contact me and I should be available for you having said that I'm super excited to start the journey with you good morning again so let's actually see what this cloud computing is and you know why it is super important you know in today's day and age having said that let me actually zoom certain parts here so what we are going to be seeing in today's agenda is what is cloud computing what are, what do they mean by deep learning methods what is service model and what is the advantage of cloud and i've also given you know ways that you can actually contact me uh, you know so so feel free to do so <laughs> having said that let's actually start with our journey okay the cloud computing, if you see like in today's day and age, you'll, you'll be seeing a lot of jobs in cloud, cloud and cloud. So what is this cloud and, you know, why is it so much in demand and, you know, what are we doing? Well, in a way, indirectly, if you actually see, we have been actually using the cloud with our knowledge. <clears throat> if you have a YouTube, if you actually store your data, if you actually buy a new phone, iPhone or something, or even your Android phone, every data gets stored somewhere so that when you actually go to the other if you actually buy a laptop a phone or any kind of youtube so wherever you actually sign you know the moment you actually sign in you'll actually see all your data is getting downloaded fastly right so this is like uh, an example of cloud computing so without we realizing we have been using cloud computing for quite some time be it facebook uh, you know be it youtube or anything so it's basically the computing is actually available on demand in multiple locations and you know it is it has been distributed in multiple locations it is not only one location okay so we can actually say this as a cloud computing in a nutshell all right now what do they mean by deployment methods and what is a deployment method as i said like you know this course is more of a non it background so not for non-technical people don't worry the deployment method stays the same a deployment is how you actually deploy or in other words how you actually you know set up the thing for it to actually work <clears throat> so there are certain ways a model is actually working behind the scene to make it feasible okay and what would be the ways here well there is something called as a public cloud as the name says there is something public there is something called as a private cloud as the name says it is private and there's something called hybrid so let's actually see what it actually means a public cloud is being operated and owned by a provider and it is shared across multiple tenants via the internet like say suppose you want to do your cloud deployment I have a picture and I actually upload the picture so this picture if the Amazon AWS Amazon Web Services or Azure or Google actually uses you can actually use the internet to access, access your picture you can actually download just like whatever images that you actually put in WhatsApp and you actually change your phone it actually comes back again right so you know think about in that nature so a public cloud is you know, shared across multiple location, not only a single location, multiple location. And these are the top three examples of the same. A private, as the name suggests, it is something which only belongs to a particular person and it is private. 
the infrastructure is actually dedicated to single user organization it can be a hp data center so a data center is basically you know as i said let's let's actually come to what a data center is later but you know it is basically which is being done by a private you know by a single organization a hybrid is basically a combination of the public and the private and the reason here is people sometimes they actually fear whether getting into public can actually cost them a security or like you know a lack of trust so for that you know they have a hybrid model where it is actually running in a combination of different environments you have on prem and you have cloud so on prem is basically in your center and the cloud is what we actually talked of and the examples of this is the aws outpost azure stack google anthos etc now having said that let's actually see what a service model is the service models are just the reference models on which the cloud computing is actually based on or in other words you know as i said like you know there are if you are going to get into cloud if you are going to even learn for fun and if you want to enhance your career you are going to at least hear these three words quite frequently infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service and technical people love using short terms so it is called iaas uh, paas and uh, you know uh, saas okay so the infrastructure as a service is the infrastructure what is an infrastructure that is basically you know what it's actually need as a backbone right where that is being used as a service a service is something you know which is being done to do a particular task so this infrastructure provides virtualized computing resources over the internet and there are some examples here and one of our favorite example is also the amazon web services and microsoft azure and google so there are three top providers right for the for the cloud one is amazon the other is microsoft in azure and the third one is google there are many others but these three are top contenders so the platform as service as you may actually you would, you would have actually figured out by now it actually uses the platform as service and what what do we mean by that <clears throat> so in this platform as service basically the cloud computing where a third party provider delivers hardware and software tools to the users over the internet we have some examples like elastic beanstalk and heroku so don't worry if the term looks very foreign to you we will definitely definitely come to this okay so don't worry about the same now there is also other things but these three are the top three are the most important this is called software as service so what do we mean by software as service software we all know okay this is like you know we all know the software is going to act as a service so that is what we mean by software as a service where the software service provider he actually manages everything okay like your security availability performance like your e-commerce site any kind of applications salesforce the software behind it is actually coming as a service so as i said the service provider there are three things one is infrastructure platform software as service okay i a a s s a a s p a a s and the deployment is public private or hybrid all right now let's actually get into the other things so what is cloud and we also talked about it and why is it so you know why is it so much in demand well the cloud is nothing it's not like a new concept it's been an old concept since 1960 so when ibm actually started in 1960 they actually started something called uh, time sharing they improved on it in 1970 and in early 2000 amazon web services amazon actually came up with two things called s3 and ec2 which we'll be covering okay so it's let me actually put it in very simple terms you actually go to a restaurant would you actually eat everything which is there in the menu you would actually pick 
what your mood is what you need to eat at that time and how much ever you know is needed for you at that juncture okay the same concept applies here now say suppose if you're building a website you need not buy a big server you just need to buy a small server or a small piece of a server where you can actually even use someone else's server for your own need just to host your website your family pictures and your vacation pictures and, and whatnot the flexibility the flexibility here of using what you want when you want and to pay for that you know gives a lot of cost advantage and that is exactly that is exactly one of the main reason why the cloud picked up the steam cost scalability speed and you can go global today in matter of minutes there's always been you know an interconnected economy interconnected world but today it is a lot more so you know so that is what it's actually doing so it's interconnected so you have disaster recovery you can go global in minutes you have disaster recovery if even one area fails you can actually get it from multiple areas so you know this is what it is having said that i think this is enough for today let me actually give you a, a small homework i'm not trying to actually test your patience but just like to go and have some fun Tell me what a capex is and an opex is. A capex is basically a capital expenditure. A capital expenditure is you go to an office, you buy an office, whatever you do, you know, to buy an office is a capital investment. And the operating is the cost which actually takes to run. So thank you, friends. Thank you for giving me your time. And, you know, um, I really appreciate it. Uh, so as I said, like my aim is to make you familiar with cloud and also like, you know, probably get, get certified. Um, you know, I want to thank you for giving me your time and also thank my wife Jayashree uh, for making me do this. Really appreciate it. I'm planning on actually releasing three lectures in a week so that you can actually catch up with the cloud. Uh, till we see for next time. Take care now. Cheers.